Sing chow, everybody. Welcome back. You're watching Vietnam Steve. And yes, normal transmissions have resumed. I'm back in Vietnam and I'm loving it sick. Just heading down to the uh, local coffee shop for the morning brew and getting my uh, walking exercise in at the same time. It's about uh, 20 degrees here. The sun gets up about 5.45, I think, in the morning. And we're currently looking at uh, 7. <clears throat> had a bit of a late start today. Uh, had a, a few things I had to do. Uh, one was get a few extra Zs after a, a long trip. But uh, really looking forward to a great week and um, particularly getting that, that first coffee in. I have to say, um, I did duck out last night and uh, get a big feed of oyster congee. And that's uh, sustained me through the night and even now, not really hungry. <clears throat> Got some great food coming up today. And I might show you some of that if I can get a chance. Um, but first things first, let's get into it. Now I've got the, uh, the GoCheck microphone working again today. Can't seem to get it to cancel out the background noise as much as I'd like. Um, but we'll have a bit of a play with it, <clears throat> see how it goes. And try and start lifting the quality video by video. You probably know um, uh, I'm only posting a couple of videos a week, but it does work out to quite a, um, a comprehensive library. I sort of the last three months, it's been eight, nine, 10 or 11 videos each month which is pretty good going for a, a hobbyist and uh, I really enjoy talking to you and, and bringing these to you. The city here is still uh, recovering from the storms. Uh, a lot of things tipped over or being put back up. We'll see some of those as we go very quickly to the coffee shop. Now you might remember uh, <clears throat> A lot of these trees were tipped over last time we were along here. Uh, clearly not these ones with little gardens around the bottom. But if you look here, there's, there's three missing. So they've tipped over and not been uh, recoverable. Then the next, uh, the next couple, they've stood them back up but chopped the, chopped the tops off. So it does look like the whole uh, City's had a haircut, but just driving around uh, yesterday, there's there's still a lot to do, so I'm going to be busy here for a while. This is one of my favourite little parks here, and it's directly across the way from, uh, that's a convention centre over there, and I guess that orange uh, bit you can see on the roof, I think it's... Uh, tarpaulin of some sorts but that is where the tin came off the roof over the road there so they've still got to fix the big convention center but it's only been about a month and uh, it's a beautiful place and the trees are flowering and everybody's getting back to normal so as I'm walking along here I'm sort of thinking <clears throat> why am I feeling so good <clears throat> um, no reason for that it's just another just another day um, but I think um, you know being being back in Vietnam and really having an affinity for the country and the people um, it's just exciting you know and where I went for dinner last night the uh, the lady started talking quite profusely to me in Vietnamese she was um, she'd miss me I've been away for a week or so and um, <clears throat> she was concerned something might have happened to me so uh, was very happy to see me back and, and eating some of her food and that's just the nature of the people here they yeah uh, they really take an interest in your life and uh, as opposed to the work-life balance here it's the life work balance they uh, they put the priority on life and not so much on work like we used to do in the West so I think I'm loving uh, loving the attention of being uh, a Western boy in Vietnam that everybody wants to say hello to and um, show their concern when I'm not around. What a great place to be where 
you're in a community and that actually happens and um, it's just part of your daily life I'm very very blessed just a little bit of brick delivery uh, in Vietnam style that's about 20 on the ground and another 20 on the back so delivering uh, 40 bricks by motorbike all right Fantastic. second thing second just filled up on a lovely coffee so uh, the relaxation that brings as it courses through my veins is fantastic. I uh, couldn't bring you anything from the coffee shop because five gentlemen turned up and even though most seats were empty, sat right next to me and spoke very loudly in Vietnamese. But having a coffee in the morning uh, in Vietnam is just uh, a tradition. And um, I've got family coming to visit me in a week or so. And I just sent them a message and said, you know, pre prepare to um, uh, spend at least two or three hours a day in a coffee shop. I'm just um, whizzing across the road to uh, show you some of the roof that came off the um, uh, convention centre here. And um, there's also a gentleman that seems to be training a bird over there with whistles. So that might be interesting. See. But anyway, uh, the other thing that makes me feel uh, happy and excited to be back in Vietnam is just um, it feels more vibrant and uh, full of action, whatever the, the word is. Um, <clears throat> I've um, just come back from uh, a trip down under and I have to say, you know, I walked up the main street of my city and it was like... Um, with no disrespect, it was like I was in Eastern Europe in the 80s. It was just uh, difficult. This stuff has come off the roof, uh, been rounded up here, but we're about a month down the track and it's still not collected, so not exactly sure what's happening. You know, just uh, back in the West, I was in the mall of my hometown, quiet, subdued, uh, people getting around like they've just come out from... Uh, eating uh, potatoes and cabbage and picking up the, the last scarce uh, goods from the shop. I come to Vietnam, it's a what? It's action, busy, um, things happening. I had to get some technology stuff done last night, 8.30 at night, rocked into the shop. Man's helped me out on the spot. Now, where I come from, you rock into uh, the Apple store, you've got to take an appointment, come back when they're good and ready to see you. Um, and that's not now. So uh, the action and um, vibrant, vibrantness of uh, the city really makes me feel great. And it really uh, ticks all my boxes. I'm going to go see this gentleman with the wow. bird, see if I can get a, a photo of him for you. Amazing. And he flies away and comes back. Amazing. Wow. What is his name? Okay. Wow. He comes in the bag on the motorbike and the man has been flying him around here. Yeah. And uh, whistling. When he whistles, the bird comes back. Amazing. That's what we like to see. How good is that? A couple of people out fishing, people playing on their phones. And uh, I'm not going to walk too far because it's out in the sun down there and uh, I don't want to get fried. I've done that before. Um, the third thing that's really ticking my box here now that I'm back, and I've only been back, uh, when did I get here? About 2 p.m. yesterday, 3 p.m. yesterday, and it's now uh, 7.30 a.m. in the morning. The other thing that's ticking my box is uh, the youth and, and vibrancy. So this seems to be a young country, and I've, I've, I've spoken before about uh, um, goodness me. There's more um, steel over there. That's more steel off the roof. I've spoken before about uh, the average age in Australia. I think is close to 50, whereas the average age in Vietnam is closer to 30. 
there are just young people here, young families. Uh, when I sit at a coffee shop at 10 or 11 at night, there's 20 to 30 year olds turning up on their motorbikes to have a coffee, talk to their friends. And it's a young country. So when you're an old man, uh, it makes you feel good to be in a young country, seeing young things happen uh, and all the ac activity that that brings. So I think that's another reason that uh, my boxes are getting ticked here. Don't know if it's got to do with the beauty that's behind me. This is uh, absolutely tranquil here today. And um, <clears throat> you know, I've, I've, been, I've been in Vietnam for a long time, but I've never swum right here. I have swum out in the bay a long way out. Um, but the, this looks quite clear today. Um, I can see the bottom. I can see um, I can see a crab down there. Uh, so it's quite clear, but I'd be reluctant to put my head under here. Uh, so that's uh, the third thing. The first thing that ticks my box about Vietnam is just the relaxed feeling I've got. The second thing is uh, the, um, the the friendliness of the people. The third thing is the uh, the youth and vibrancy of the country. This is a country going somewhere. It's got action. It's not like Eastern Europe. It's actually, or well, the former Eastern Europe, I should say. And um, it's definitely not, not like the West, which, uh, you know, there's probably a VART coming up somewhere talking about, you know, is the West in decline or has it hit rock bottom yet? Uh, people fishing along here. Just a beautiful, beautiful morning. Let's continue up the street and see what else we can see. It's pretty tranquil and beautiful out there today. But these white things in the water here seem to be more big hunks of steel that have blown out there from uh, the convention center behind. So uh, they're going to have to get pulled out because uh, you know, I might be doing laps down there later and I don't want to run across a, a big hunk of steel. So the last thing I wanted to uh, talk to you today about that's making me feel great to be back in uh, Vietnam is just the speed that things uh, actually hap happen so, uh, and, and health. So things happen fast here. There's no real uh, planning that says, you know, on Tuesday we'll decide what we're going to do on the weekend. It's really a case of uh, on, uh, on the weekend we do things uh, immediately. I'm on a weekend day uh, today. And, um, you know, I'm off for a coffee immediately after filming this VART for you to um, meet with friends and have my second coffee for the day. Um, <clears throat> the other thing's health. And uh, one of the kids had some sort of uh, gastro stomach problem and uh, had to go to the hospital. The other kid also was a little bit sick, so I was in the hospital. And uh, my wife, while she's there, has had a piece of glass in her foot for uh, six years. Uh, long story short, how the glass got in her foot, but she had an operation at the time to um, get rid of the glass and uh, one piece was left. So uh, that one piece that's left uh, has caused her a bit of angst for six years. So she said, look, while I'm at the hospital here looking after two kids, I might just uh, get this piece of glass out. And I said, when are you doing that? She says, oh, this afternoon. So I'll put a shot of the piece of glass uh, in the middle of this video. Um, because it's a big hunk of glass that's been in a foot for six years. But uh, needless to say, it's out. But, you know, in the hospital, looking after two kids that are sick and then decide to have an operation yourself, how fast is that? Uh, got another you know, little one-year-old niece. She's um, had an operation on her tongue, and it's a bit of a case of, uh, yeah, we'll get that done. And um, in and out, you know, when are you getting it done? Oh, this afternoon. So uh, she's been in and out and had that done as well. So it's a family holiday up at the hospital. Um, so the speed that things happen is, is really refreshing. I'm a, I'm a planner. I never make mistakes, or I very rarely make mistakes because I, I plan and think about things for a very long time. Uh, the Vietnamese people just get on and do it. Hey, um, I remember my wife was getting a tattoo and she said, I'm thinking of getting a tattoo. What do you think, this one, that one, or the other one? Uh, gave her my two bobs worth and uh, I said, when are you going to get this? She said, oh, I might go this afternoon. Yeah, that's just uh, speed and speed and, and uh, fastness that uh, actually happens. If you look behind me here, you see these three trees. They're all pruned off because those three trees there um, actually uh, you know, would have got blown to smithereens in the, in the storm. So look, the other thing that's, uh, that shocked me is um, 
60% of you that watch this video aren't actually subscribed to the Vietnam Steve channel. Um, I need you to subscribe. It's the only way I know that you get access to the latest entertainment. So please smash that subscribe button now. And look, finally, being back in Vietnam, it's, it's a great feeling. Um, relaxed, speedy, young, vibrant, healthy. Um, what I want to know from you in the comments is, uh, when are you coming to Vietnam? Uh, when are you coming to get some relaxation and some youth and vibrancy and action uh, into your day? So uh, let me know when you bring in the joy and you're coming to Vietnam. And uh, if you're coming out to Ha Long, I'd love to have a beer with you. I've got a, uh, uh, a gentleman that's been in touch with me through the, through the channel here. He's actually gone up to Hanoi today, but um, we'll be having a beer when he gets back on Monday uh, with him and his family. So uh, it's great to be back in Vietnam. Just wanted to post a fast one for you today to just tell you the, the great feeling I've got being here. And uh, we'll have some, some super content coming out over the next couple of weeks. Planning to sort of get the Tuesdays and Thursdays rocking. But of course, uh, you could get a VART from Vietnam, Steve, any day. Stay frosty. It's a great view here this morning. I thought I'd stick and just give you the view. And I'll see you in the next one.